When you visit Athens, you expect to see plenty of red and black, but Bulldog Country is far more colorful than that, thanks to a unique place set aside by the University of Georgia. We're talking about the State Botanical Garden of Georgia at the University of Georgia, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken, who just happens to be a gator. He's live there this morning. Paul, perfect time to visit this unique place, right? <laughs> He's not too happy about that. <laughs> Not a lot of orange it and blue. Is. I, I was a little nervous yeah. when I showed up. Every time I get to Athens, I worry they're going to just stop me and turn me around and be like, no, you can't come in, Gator. You're not allowed. But they're very welcoming here at the State Botanical Garden of Georgia at the University of Georgia. And I got to say, walking around the garden, I kind of wish I went to school here. Don't tell any Gators that I said that, all right? This is just between oh. us. But I kind of <laughs> wish I'd spent more time here when I was younger. This is beautiful here. I love this botanical garden. So again, this is the State Botanical Garden of Georgia at the University of Georgia celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. So it's a really good time to visit and especially good now because it's a little quieter in town. We just had graduation last week. Things have calmed down. Perfect opportunity to come visit and meet with Jenny, who is the garden director. It's great to see you. How are you? Great to see you, too. Thanks for being here this morning. I am so glad to be here. I've actually waited a long time to visit. So for people who have never been here, how would you describe what the State Botanical Garden of Georgia is? Well, it's it's here as a resource for our, the citizens of Georgia. It's yeah. 313 acres. We have five miles of natural trails that go along the river, mm -hmm. that go up into these beautiful areas of the garden, and then about 30 acres of cultivated space that connect people with plants, the importance of plants in their lives. And then we also have a conservatory that mm -hmm. highlights tropical plants, tropical trees like chocolate tree and mm -hmm. coffee trees. So there's there's venues, there's music. June 12th is our first sunflower concert Ooh. out here in the flower garden. Um, wonderful time to come with the family, bring a picnic, yeah. watch the fireflies, listen to great Athens music. Yeah, and what a great resource too for the university here. It's absolutely a resource for the university, for our emerging leaders, mm -hmm. for students, for um, for families, for young children. We have a children's garden coming. It's under construction. Oh, It'll great. be open by early next year. So we have something for the community from the, our earliest learners to lifelong learners and yeah. to the students of Georgia too. Yeah. Now here's what people will not believe. A place like this, a beautiful resource, 313 acres. You figure it's got to cost something to get in. So what is admission? It's free. Wow. Parking, parking is free. Now we encourage people to become a friend. Yeah. Be a friend. Yeah. yeah. Um, become that's our membership group, and that can help support the programming that we do. Yeah. yeah. But we are really proud of the fact that we're free to the public. Yeah. We're accessible. We're on the bus line. Um, come out here, enjoy yourself, take a deep breath relax and enjoy the botanical garden. Yeah, it is so great to be here. Jenny, thank you very much. Somebody who knows how much work it takes to keep this place going and to make it look as beautiful as it is, is Shelly, who is the director of horticulture over here. Always busy gardening. Talk about a green thumb. Shelly, how are you this morning? I'm great. How are it's, you? I'm doing well. It's great to see you. So I want to ask you about some of the plants you've got. First of all, behind us, these are gorgeous and these are poppies, right? They're poppies, yes. And they're blooming. Uh, they bloom in the spring and finish up in early summer. Yeah. Would you say overall this time of year spring going into summer is a great time to visit it is a great time to visit there are peonies blooming right now there are irises blooming right now the summer annuals are just beginning to come along so yeah. it's a great lot slots to see and, and tell me about this little garden right here behind us so this is the all america selections display garden what is in the display garden here these are all plants that have been trialed throughout this country mm -hmm. and um, they're for our region they do really well during the summer and they've been released by the all america selection and we display them so that people can see what is available uh, through this program. Yeah, I also want to mention too, this just opened for the year. You've got this hummingbird the trail here as well, right? Yes, we have a hummingbird trail that one of our volunteers created and you can follow that trail and if you sit long enough, you'll see a hummingbird come by and nice. perch or uh, feed on some flowers. Yeah, I gotta think you see photographers in here all the time, do you? Yes, we have a <laughs> lot of photographers coming to take pictures of flowers and take pictures of people. Yeah, um, it's just a great place for photog photographers to be. Yeah, thank you so much, Shelley. Great to see you. Thanks thank again you. to Jenny and the whole staff here. I gotta tell you again, this is such a beautiful place. I've never been. You will love it when you come to visit. So many trails to explore. And I was a little worried this morning. I asked him about mm -hmm. the photographers because I had a feeling when we got here that Blaze would all of a sudden start start getting a little more focused on his still photography and we almost missed the segment because he was trying to get that perfect shot of the
be <laughs> inside of the flower pollinating. So whether or not we're back for a second segment in the next hour, I'm not sure. It depends how distracted Blaze gets. But if he's not <laughs> distracted, see, he's already leaning. Is He's going to look for a better photograph. I can see it happening as we speak. If I can keep him on track, we'll be back next hour with more. Talk more about the conservation aspect of this place. I mean, think about it. If you're Blaze, would you rather take pictures of beautiful I flowers or Paul Milliken? Say. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Right. Well, don't no you greater. guys agree? Of the course. The State Botanical <laughs> Garden of Georgia at the University of Georgia is located at 2450 South Millage Avenue in Athens. Grounds are open from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. Parking and admission are free. Love